Hey everybody, OWRC, uh, morning after update of going to SDRC, San Diego race track for RCs. Never been to a racetrack before. Uh, had an awesome time. The guys there, again, super accommodating. I've found so far everyone in RC just has been super nice. Um, I want to take a quick video because I have not cleaned her at all or done anything and I wanted to let you know how it ran on a RC track and my experience there with my son taking his uh, ECX Torment. Um, we had a blast first off. So overall, the quick of it is that it was just a ton of fun. Um, what I experienced were my Baja BF Goodrich Proline tires were actually perfect for that track. Um, Love this thing. It ran flawlessly. It took me a little while, but uh, I was able to get a lap in without any issues, hitting doubles. I mean, I was just in the zone for a minute. For never going to a track, um, and it was a pretty busy day on Saturday. Lots of guys running uh, other buggies around. Um, if any of them end up watching these videos, uh, thank you so much for being patient with my son terrorizing in his two-wheel drive. Um, now you gotta remember, nine-year-old, never been to track. These tires, not the best at all. He was slipping us there hard. Um, he was slipping and sliding all over the place and everyone was super cool and super patient with him. Um, most of the time I got out on the track when he was running just to help undo the disasters he was causing. Um, I was trying to teach him to stay out of the way, but again, it was just open practice. We had such an amazing time. Uh, I wanted to show you also back on the, the low C, um, the new fenders on got a good little ding in there. Like I said, I haven't cleaned it up at all. This is all track mud on here. How the vinyl held up. Um, it held up. So, I mean, you know, there it's not really wouldn't be an issue if the vinyl wasn't there, but um, it looked good. You can see it's all mud on there. I'll clean it up later and see how everything uh, turned out on there. So I, again, had no issues. It was running perfectly. I did meet a guy out there that had a low, uh, a boss, uh, bleh, a Losi Baja Ray, um, and um, super cool. We were sitting right next to each other. I got great info from him. He had bought some Pro-Line shocks and put on. Um, that were for the Yeti, but he was having a lot of grinding issues. I mean, the truck sounded like it was coming unglued. I started talking about bearings. We had a good little conversation. He took apart his front diff. If you're watching, uh, comment on here. Just want to say thanks for being, you know, cool and and nice. We, I think, again, that's the whole thing. We learn a lot off each other owning these trucks. Maybe what's working, what's not working. So I encourage you to hop on, make some videos. If you do some change, you should do one on your shocks because. Uh, they look super cool, and I'd like to hear about how they're running and what they're doing. But um, anyway, the uh, the short of it, or the long of it, uh, we just had an awesome time. Um, not sure if this is the best truck for my son to be at that track with. Maybe something definitely a little more grippy. Um, you know, maybe a little buggy of some kind. We'll look at that to come. Just wanted to make a, a, a quick video of, of what we had. So, SDRC, thank you very much. Um, we will be coming back. It was a blast. Me and my son both just were super stoked. Spent about three hours there. Thank you for being so nice. And uh, that's about all I got for today. Take care. <laughs>